Hello, my name is Yu Kang Fu, and here I'm here to present RF convergence with GNU Radio. So today's talk consists of five parts. First, I will introduce RF convergence, then I will give an example of an RF convergence system. Next, I will show implementation of example system of in Gloom Radio, at the end, I will provide the results of the over the air experiment using it and summary of the content today. First, let me introduce the concept of RF convergence. Before introducing RF convergence, we need to realize the problem we're facing nowadays spectral congestions caused by increasingly, increasingly crowded wireless domain is a major concern, especially for telecommunications. As you can see in the picture on the right, there are so many communication users and they probably share the same spectral allocation. However, spectral resources are limited for so many users. In worst case scenario, it can cause severe loss in communication performance and lead to system failure. In worst case scenario, uh, AT&T, for example, it will slow your data speed if you don't have premium data available. So here comes a promising solution to reallocate and share spectral allocation and that is RF convergence. Now let's talk about what RF convergence is. We use resources jointly for radar and communication systems. For example, bandwidth allocation, we use the same spectral allocation for both radar and communication signals. In order to make it work, we are developing multifunction RF systems, including multifunction transceivers for both radar and communications, which transmit and receive um, joint radar communication signals. RF convergence system can improve spectral efficiency and reduce external interference and enable new system capabilities. Here are some ideas of the RF convergence system. So this is, there are several automobiles. So it can detect the distance between vehicles using the radar from pre-collision system. And it can also receive communication signals at the same time. For example, if a car wants to, another car wants to change lanes, it can receive the information and stop accelerating and let it in. Uh, next example is uh, Google, Google's idea of ATAPS SOLI, still under, develop, under development. Um, it uses two times four antenna as a radar to recognize gestures while talking with another user. For military systems, so in mil for military systems, uh, planes can send and receive radar signals while communication with other units using the multifunction receiver. Next part, I will provide an example of a simple RF convergence system. Uh, the block diagram, as you can see here. Um, so it decodes communication signal and estimates target range simultaneously. Uh, and it uses camera navigation to disentangle signals. Um, it can jointly improve performance of 
both systems. Mm. So in this case, the transmitted signal consists of a strong communication signal and a weaker radar signal. So it, the communication signal can be decoded easily. Um, as you can see, there's a result. So the radar return with a clear peak can be easily seen after temporal mitigation. So mm, about temporal mitigation, it is the key kernel that enables RF convergence. It can disentangle multiple signals from the composite signal and it removes one source at a time. It, it, it helps implementing um, successive interference cancellation in this system. So it, it decodes the strongest signal from the received signal and removes it and repeats it multiple times if there are multiple sources. Um, so it can be iteratively done until all signals are sufficiently interference free. Um, so here's a block diagram and the equation for temporal mitigation here in slide. And here we'll show how we implement the system in GNU radio. So um, here is an illustration showing the complexity of um, our convergence system. Um, it is extremely difficult to implement simple RF convergence system in RF hardware because it is a relatively new area of research and the system design is undergoing rapid advancements of the RF convergence system um, and the algorithms here are computationally complex and novel and there is no ready-made hardware implementations and it requires both algorithm and hardware expertise. So there is an urgent need for tools to facilitate hardware implementations of RF convergence. Mm. So here we implemented uh, the temporal mitigation block as previously mentioned. So as we mentioned earlier, it disentangles multiple signals from a composite signal and remove one source at a time. Um, it can be iteratively implemented for multiple communication users by using the spatial temporal degrees of freedom. It can greatly improve performance of multiple channel, multiple user receiver. And here's a link for which contains our work down below. So here is a flow graph of the GNU radio implementation. So we use GNU radio to easily deploy our convergence system on our hardware. And it's, it is extremely important for rapid development testing and evaluation. Uh, so the implementation here is driven by the development, developing the new temporal mitigation GRC block. Mm. And here's a magnified version of the GRC flow graph. And next we'll present the result of the mm, over the air experiment using USRP. So here we have a one antenna transmitter and a four channel receiver for the parameters of the relative power levels. The radar is minus 10 dB and communication signal is 
10 dB and the noise is 0 dB. And we use an, we use a LFM radar waveform with time bandwidth product of 100. For communication part, we use simple BPSK communication signals. And both signals overlap in spectral and spatial domain. So the setup is shown in the picture. And again, we provided the link of our work. Hmm. And next, I'll show you the result. It, these are the range Doppler map of the radar return. Uh, the one on the left is the radar return before temporal mitigation. So here the communication signal is not removed yet. And the one on the left is after the temporal mitigation. So here the communication signal is removed. So as we can see, the target point is very hard to recognize for temporal negation and but it can be easily seen after temporal negation. And in the end, there's a summary of today's content. So we introduced RF convergence system and we showed the implementation of the system in Glen Radio and we showed the experiment results over the air. And that's it. Thank you very much. So there's uh, one question, more of a comment from a uh, chat to start off with. Uh, and it's that uh, some of these techniques reminded uh, this audience member of uh, OFDM radar. And they were wondering whether you had looked at all uh, into that sort of space. Uh, okay. Sorry, can you repeat the question? Uh, have you looked at all at OFDM based radar and some of the, the techniques there? So, OFDM radar, I'm not sure. So, here's the point of our, of our work. So, we're here to solve the spectral allocation problems that's our main focus so we share the communication signal as you uh, as you can see especially uh, nowadays for 5g we have very limited spectral resources so if we can share the spectral allocation with radar it can we can have more spectral resources to use that that's the main point of our work here great thank you are there any other questions here in the room Thank you very much then.